Voter apathy in Nigerian elections. The last general elections recorded a voters turnout of 34.75%. This was the lowest record in history, on the history of Nigeria's democracy. It was also the lowest among other African countries that conducted elections in that same season. Countries like Equatorial Guinea, Angola, Seychelles, Zimbabwe, Kenya, Sierra Leone, Burundi, Liberia, and Guinea-Bissau had turnout rates of above 70%. Rwanda had the highest turnout rate in the continent at 98.2%. This low voter turnout rate in, is not a new thing in Nigeria. It just happened to have been worse at the last general elections. It is therefore safe to say that many Nigerians do not consider voting as a civil responsibility. The obvious question then is, why is this the case? A lot of factors have contributed to this apathy, such as insecurity, over security, Overt and covert intimidation, failure of democracy to deliver on results, the stress of getting a voter's card, invalid elections, and general feeling of helplessness amongst Nigerians. Nigerians over time have been made to believe that their votes do not count based on their previous experiences from past elections. Some others are just not patriotic enough to wants to vote. Unfortunately, the group of Nigerians that usually fail to vote are the working middle class, especially those in the private sector. These are the people we need the most as voters in elections because they properly understand the consequences of their actions and are most likely not going to be influenced by vain promises or monetary rewards at the polls. Question for us today then is, how can we encourage this set of individuals to vote in the 2023 elections? Hmm. Right. Well, you've, you, are, you are always concerned. I'm just amazed how much you are concerned about figures, perhaps because you are an, you are an accountant. So I'm not surprised. I love that your statistics. Now, the thing is, you, I'm concerned about the middle class, the professional middle class, or the, what do you call them, educated, professional, or careerly, um, um, involved middle class. Now, I wouldn't want to blame them 100% as much as I want to blame them 100%. And here's the reason. I, I will blame them in a way because it's a matter of having a sense of responsibility as citizens, everybody, not just them. But why would you want to blame them in a way? Um, there is a system that somehow is difficult to get, first of all, on both people as voters. We have to first of all work. How do we facilitate our voters' registration? Because some of these guys are working in private sectors, like you say. It's not easy for them to just leave their office. I want to go and spend hours in the queue to get voters. You see, but how can the government uh, facilitate the process? That even right in their office, doing the when the dot com era, everything is very just yeah, yeah. make use of technology, ICT, and get this done. And that's one. Number two, I think that will help many of them be encouraged. Then number two. For us to have voters' confidence, we were talking about ECN, uh, sorry, electro electronic uh, transmission of results, ET, uh, ETRU. Now, some persons were pushing against it. They were talking, oh, this local government don't have, um, certain local government don't have good network accounts. Why don't you provide the basic infrastructure first and then encourage electronic transmission of results? As so that means we can see the values in real time. As the election is going on, we're seeing the values in, as it's done in other climes like US and the rest. I guess that will enhance voters' confidence. Thirdly, the government and civil societies and other well many Nigerians should do well to educate every Nigerian, especially those that are not very educated. You can educate them in your own dialect if possible. Tell them that, look, election is a process where we determine the um, leaders that will lead us for a certain period of time, but it has a way of affecting the country's future. So let's vote wisely and don't sell your votes. I mean, before Victor responds, um, while I was thinking about this topic, I think for me, I remembered my experience in the previous election. I voted, um, but I had people around me, a lot of people around me, that had their voters card, but never went to vote. Hmm. So it's, it's a thing of, I mean, before the election, we, I mean, my, my organization at that time 
gave people um, opportunities to go and pick up their cards. Yeah, yeah. So there are organizations that have done those. Yeah. But there's that general feeling of, I wouldn't call it irresponsibility, civil irresponsibility, but I mean, many people just do not, especially the young, the middle class people, they just do not necessarily think they should vote. Mm. However, I, I still believe that they are the ones we need the most at elections because they can make the right choice. So what do you think? So I, I stand here, or I sit here rather, representing the entire tech bros, you know, <laughs> in the whole wild Nigeria, right? And I say that cause, why are we not thinking? Again, let me, I'm gonna come back to that, right? Let's, let's look at, the middle class are the problem of this nation. We are, and we, we all seated here, I believe we'll share in that class as well, so. No, we are we huge. Are we, are huge. <laughs> we are huge. We are huge. We are huge. We are problem. I am very, I'm very realistic in things, right? Practical, logical, we are the problem. Okay. And I include. Why do you say so? Why I say so is, and it's a, it's a, it's a two-edged sword that looked similar. So on, what part, on one part of the sword is the fact that, you know, I voted all through all the elections I've been qualified to vote, except for the last time Buhari came into power. I didn't vote. You know, I mean, I was tweeting. I didn't vote. You know? So but, but, you know, the, the, the thing is, one part of the edge is the fact that we don't want to collect our cards. You think about it. It is the low income, whatever, that goes, stands in the sun. The illiterate goes, people. They will close their shop. They will yes. not fry a car. They will not sell or yes. hawk anything. They will close the shops and they stand in the sun. I want to vote for my own man. But we, we don't see, even, even if the, the way we work says, you know what, stay home, you know, everybody, you have a holiday, go vote. We don't do that. Right? That's one part of it. And that same behavior has also trickled down to why we don't also come out. How many middle class people would want to come out to really contest for a seat, even at local level, at federal level, at state level. We really don't. So we are the problem. And, if, and we're, we're, we can make so much difference. I don't think it's like education. We don't need education. We know what to do, but we're, we're just not doing it. Yes. So I think we should Education, but the quality hall. of the education is not just Let's a... Let's go for a town hall of all middle class. <laughs> we lock the door. And so what's middle wrong class with town us? Hall, <laughs> <laughs> wrong with us? People that, that we call illiterates, they go to vote. Yes. They perform this thing. Exactly. I don't. mean, I think that for me okay. is the thing. They feel more responsible. Maybe because they know that there's something that they're going to get out of it. But there's that responsibility that they have. Whereas we, or because we are comfortable with where we are right now, exactly. so we feel like our position is never going to change. After and it's not it's going to be difference. this person from this side or this other exactly. side. And again, technology is important. Why, why are we not making, why are we not decentralizing or, you know, making it more seamless for people to really vote? Because, I mean, I don't want to go vote and then, I mean, I get... Um, hounded up, or I of get course. killed, or Security I get injured. You know, yeah. well, last year was, I mean, the last election was that. I had so many, so much news around, oh, they are fighting in O'Reilly, they are fighting in, you know, um, body. So I can't put myself in that kind of stuff. Okay, of why I, I agree with you, Victor, we'll talk to ourselves, we young people. But yeah. you know what? INEC, know this and know peace, INEC inculcate technological processes. You will see us coming outside. So that's what I would say. <laughs> I mean, this, this conversation is something that's, you know, is, I think it's something we need to be having within clusters, encourage our people, encourage our friends. But I mean, also, whatever it takes, whereas when the election comes out, um, come next year, let's. Are you go voting out. this year? I mean, oh, yes. Yes. I mean, yes. We, mo I we must vote. I, I, always vote. Now, I always vote. So, great, yes, great. I go out. So, I mean, so Elijah is next after this break. Stay tuned. <laughs>